All right, everybody, here's our first lecture dealing with lesson three in Dr. J's music lesson, which is all about the major scale. Today, in this first half of the lecture, we're going to look at what a scale is, how to construct a major scale, talk briefly about solfege, and look at building the major scale from different tonics. Let's dive right in, share my screen here. So a scale, simply put, is a consecutive series of notes consecutive meaning to follow continuously, as you can see here. Now there are many different types of scales in the language of music, but today we're going to focus on the major scale. A sound I'm sure you're all familiar with. So if you remember from previous lectures in your intro to theory class, we looked at the natural notes in the keyboard and that there were two naturally occurring half steps between the notes E and F and B and C, and all the rest were whole steps. So now if we take that same idea and attach scale degree numbers to each of those natural notes, we find that there are half steps naturally occurring between scale degrees three and four, and seven and one. I mean naturally occurring in the key of C with the natural notes in the keyboard. So briefly, solfege is a system where each note has a corresponding syllable attached to it. I'm sure you've heard do, a deer, a female deer, or even maybe sung through the major scale using solfege syllables. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. I know I'm kind of flat there, don't worry about it. But these syllables are a great way to help you wrap your ears around the tonality of the major scale and other scales as well. And also the term tonic is the first and last note of the scale. So tonic also refers to the home or the tonal center or the key signature is always based on the tonic note of whatever scale you're dealing with, whether it's the key of C, the key of G, the key of F, those are all the tonics of those different scales. So now we can look at the order of whole and half steps that creates the major scale. This formula, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, is what creates that major scale tonality. So now if we input that formula into or in between the scale degrees of the C major scale, we see that between scale degrees one and two is a whole step, between two and three is a whole step. We already know about three and four. Four and five is whole, five and six is whole, six and seven is whole, and again, we know what seven and eight is. So broken down a bit slower, see if you can really hear the different steps that are occurring in the C major scale. And there you have it. So now that we know the order of whole and half steps, we can take that same formula to build major scale starting on any note. Let's try E flat. So the first step is to write the notes on the staff from E to E as shown here. Since we're working with the E flat scale, we wanna alter our first and last notes, the tonic to E flat, which we do by lowering a half step. Next, we are going to go through and add the correct flats to create this major scale sound. So from E flat to F is a whole step, which is scale degree one to two. F to G is a second whole step, which is scale degree two to three. But now between G and A, we have a whole step, which if you recall, between scale degrees three and four, we need a half step. So here we lower the A, a half step, to an A flat. Now our next step should be a whole step, but A flat to B natural is three half steps. So we just have to lower that B natural to a B flat to get that whole step. Now, if we keep going, B flat to C is a whole step, C to D is a whole step, and D to E flat is our next half step. Let's take a listen to that.
So you heard it right. That series of whole and half steps sounded the exact same as it did from the key of C or from our, from your tonic C. It just goes from a different pitch to a different pitch. Let's try the same thing from a D as our tonic. So D to E is good, but right away, E to F natural, as we know, is a half step, and we're looking for a whole step. So we just have to raise that F natural to an F sharp. Now as we move on, F sharp to G is a half step. G to A is good. A to B is good. B to C natural is a half step. So we just have to raise that C to a C sharp. And we're back to home again.